Well, I think the general way is certainly correct in criticizing American efforts of getting up with its allies and partners in containing China, and this is、uh, absolutely evident in uh, uh, America's in the Pacific report that was、uh, published in February. But I have also taken notice of some other elements. For example, in uh, um, Secretary of Defense Austin's speech, he mentioned that the United States would not want to have a, a new Cold War with China. That the United States would not seek conflict with China. That the United States would not、uh, aim to establish、uh, Asia's NATO. As these things,、uh, uh, some of these things are not really new. In that, uh, uh, it is already said either by President Biden or by Secretary of State Blinken. But this, uh, 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 these points are still very important.、Uh, For the audience and especially for China, so even if he stress on these points, these are uh, uh, significant, especially、uh, th- that the United States will not、uh, seek to establish、uh, Asia's NATO. I think this is the first time that I've heard such things from a, a senior American official. So this is significant. I think for you to. Have a good analysis of his remarks. We have to bear in mind two scenarios as background. The first is the、uh, Russo-Ukrainian war. Although this war has nothing to do with China, but it actually has、uh, drawn tremendous attention because of international media's hype on the so-called scenario of China launching attack uh, on, uh, uh, on 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 Taiwan. I mean, mainland China. Uh, the, the other scenario is that、uh, President Biden actually talked about、uh, how the United States would come to Taiwan's uh, uh, military defense、uh, when he was、uh, in Tokyo、uh, on his Asian tour、uh, as、uh, the first、uh, as American president. So against this two background, the international attention uh, was uh, wrongfully focused on Taiwan issue. I call it wrongly because,、uh, uh, according to our anti-secession law, there are only three conditions that the men in China might uh, employ. Uh, I mean, through、uh, non-peaceful means in resolving this Taiwan issue. General Wei actually also mentioned that China has utmost sincerity in realizing peaceful reunification. But the problem is not that the men in China. Wants to use force against Taiwan, which is part of China, but that uh, uh, unless and until the three conditions are exhausted, we still would be able to achieve uh, reunification uh, peacefully. So this is in China's uh, uh, best interest.、Uh, so that does not suggest that、uh, this kind of、uh, use of force、uh, is inevitable. Talking about the Ukrainian war,、uh, I think uh, uh, China's position is trying its best to be impartial or to be neutral on this position. So that's why we、uh, have some sympathies toward the Russia's uh, uh, view that、uh, this is a result of、uh, NATO's expansion for decades. Yeah, because uh, uh, actually ever since Mikhail Gorbachev. Uh, the Russian leaders have invariably warned against、uh, such、uh, expansion, but all of them、uh, fell on deaf ears. So now we are actually seeing the consequences. The other thing, of course, is、uh, the sovereignty of、uh, sovereign states like Ukraine,、uh, which uh, are the, uh, uh, the the sovereign rights enshrined in UN charters. So、uh, by、uh, stressing on、uh, the two elements. So China is trying painstakingly to strike、uh, on the two sides of the same coin.、Uh, but、uh, having said all this,、uh, it is、um, uh, totally groundless that China、uh, has provided military assistance to Russia, or、uh, China would just want to、uh, have any、uh, gains from this. But、uh, the United States and the Western countries would wish that China. Uh, would uh, uh, stand on the sides.、Uh, th- there is a kind of a hypocrisy in this, in that the United States has actually、uh, 
uh, launched a kind of a stream competition with China. So there is also an element of a pragmatism in China's position. So because uh, Russia is China's strategic partner, and it is still China's strategic partner, if China chooses to ditch Russia, then you lose a strategic partner, and you won't necessarily improve your relationship with the country that take you as the largest competitor.